this is module 4 of chapter 5. In this module, we shall discuss about Gauss elimination method to solve a system of linear equations. And we have also considered a particular system of linear equations called tridiagonal system of equation. And the tridiagonal system of equations occur in many application. For example, it occurs in cubic spline interpolation. It is also occurs in boundary value problems and many other areas. So, we shall discuss these two methods that means the Gauss elimination method to solve a system of linear equation and then we shall discuss about the solution method of a tridiagonal system of equations. Now, we describe Gauss elimination method to solve a system of linear equations containing n variables and n equation. Uh, the system of equation is shown in equation 1. In Gauss elimination method, the variables are eliminated from the system of equations one by one. That means, the first variable x1 is eliminated from the second equation to nth equation and then the second variable that means x2 is eliminated from the third equation to the nth equation. Then we eliminate x3, the third variable from the fourth equation to the nth equation and so on. And finally, the variable x n minus 1 is eliminated from the nth equation. Thus, the reduced system of linear equations becomes an upper triangular system which can be solved by back substitution method. Now, we assume that the first element a 1 1 is not equal to 0. To eliminate x 1 from the second, third and up to nth equation, the first equation is multiplied by minus a 2 1 by a 1 1 minus a 3 1 by a 1 1 dot 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 minus a n 1 by a 1 1 respectively and successively added with the second, third and up to nth equations. And after this step, the system of equations reduces to the following form that means the equation 2. Here note that a 2 2 1 represents the first approximate value or the first modified value of the coefficient a 2 2. In general, a i j 1 is equal to a i j minus a i 1 by a 1 1 into a 1 j and this is true for all elements i j which is equal to 2 3 up to n. Now, we eliminate x 2. Here also we assume that a 2 2 1 is not equal to 0. If this element is equal to 0, then we interchange the second equation to with any other equations whose first coefficient that means the coefficient of the variable x 2 is non-zero. So, from the third, fourth and up to nth equations, the second equation is multiplied by a 3 2 1 by a 2 2 1 minus a 4 2 1 by a 2 2 1 and dot 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 minus a n 2 1 by a 2 2 1 respectively and successively added to the third, fourth and up to nth equations. And after this step, the system of equations reduces to the following form. Note that here the variable x 1 is removed from the second to last equation and the variable x 2 is removed from the third to last equation. And in this process, the coefficients a i j 2 are obtained by this formula a i j 1 minus a i 2 1 by a 2 2 1 into a 2 j 1, where i and j are equal to 3, 4 up to n. Finally, after eliminating x n minus 1, the above system of equations converted to the following form. Note that here the last equation contains only one variable x n, last but one equation contains two variable x n minus 1 and x n and so on. Where a i j k is equal to a i j k minus 1 minus a i k k minus 1 by a k k k minus 1 into a k j k minus 1, where i and j equal to k plus 1, k plus 2 up to n and k equal to 1, 2 up to n minus 1 
and a p q 0 is nothing but a p q where p and q are equal to 1 to n. So, using this formula we can calculate all the coefficients a i j k. Note that from the last equation we can easily determine the value of x n and which is equal to b n n minus 1 by a n n n minus 1. Using this value, we can determine the value of the variable x n minus 1 from the last but one equation and so on. Finally, first equation gives the value of x 1 because at this step, the value of the variables x 2, x 3 up to x n are known from previous steps. This process to determine the values of the variable x size is a back substitution because we first determine the last variable x n, but the evolution of the elements a i j k is, is a forward substitution. Now, you consider an example to illustrate the Gauss elimination method. Here, you consider three equations containing three variables. The first equation is 2 x 1 minus x 2 plus x 3 equal to 5. Second one is x 1 plus 2 x 2 plus 3 x 3 equal to 10. And third one is x 1 plus 3 x 2 minus 2 x 3 equal to 7. Now, to eliminate the variable x 1 from second and third equation, we multiplied the second and third equations by 2 and subtracting them from first equation, we obtain the following system of equations 2 x 1 minus x 2 plus x 3 equal to 5. And second equation is minus 5 x 2 minus 5 x 3 equal to minus 15 third equation is minus 7 x 2 plus 5 x 3 equal to minus 9. Note that the variable x 1 is not present in second and third equations. Now, to eliminate the second variable x 2 from the third equation, we multiply the third equation by 5 by 7 and subtracting from the second equation, we get the following system of equations. Observe that the value of x 3 can easily be determined from the last equation that means from the third equation and it is equal to 1 that means the value of x 3 is 1. And using this value from second equation, we get the value of the variable x 2 and which is equal to 2. And from first equation, we get the value of x 1 and the value of x 1 is equal to 3. That means, the solution of the given system of equation is x 1 equal to 3, x 2 equal to 2 and x 3 equal to 1. Now, you consider another method to solve a system of linear equations called Cost-Jordan elimination method. So, in this method, we consider a set of n equations containing n variables and after applying the Gauss-Jordan elimination method, the system of equation reduces to the following form that means the coefficient matrix is transferred to a unit matrix and the right hand vector are correspondingly changed. So, after Gauss Jordan elimination method, the given system of equation and reduced to the following form that means the form of equation 5. So, it is obvious that the solution of the given system of equation is x 1 equal to b 1 prime, x 2 equal to b 2 prime and dot 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 x n equal to b n prime. Now, let us consider an example to illustrate the Gauss Jordan elimination method. Here we consider three equations containing three variables. The coefficient matrix A is 1, 1, 1, second row is 2, minus 1, 3, third row is 3, 2, minus 1, and the right hand vector is 4, 1, 1. Now, the augmented matrix A v dot B is this one, A v dot B equal to the first half represents the matrix A and second half represents the column vector B, the right hand vector. And applying the elementary row operation for the rows R2 and R3, where R2 prime equal to R2 minus 2 R1 and R3 prime equal to R3 minus 3 R1, the matrix is reduced to the following form. That means, 1, 1, 1, 4, second row is 0, minus 3, 1, minus 7 third row is 0, minus 1, minus 4 and minus 11. Now, again we apply the elementary row operation for the third row and that one is R 3 prime equal to R 3 minus 1 third R 2, 
After this operation, the augmented matrix reduces to whose first row is 1, 1, 1, 4, that row is unchanged, second row remains unchanged, and third row is reduces to 0, 0, minus 13 by 3, minus 26 by 3. And now we divide the second row and third row by minus 3 and minus 13 by 3 to get 1. So, after applying this elementary row operation, the finally augmented matrix reduces to the uh, last equation, last form. The first row remains unchanged, the second row is transferred to 0, 1, minus 1 third, 7 by 3 and third row is 0, 0, 1, 2. Now, to make the 0 of the element at position 2, 1, 2, 0, we apply the elementary row operation R 1 prime equal to R 1 minus R 2 and after this application, the first row reduces to 1, 0, 4 by 3, 5 by 3 and second and third row remain unchanged. Now, to make the elements at position 3, 1 and 3, 2, we apply another elementary row operations and for the first row, it is R 1 prime equal to R 1 minus 4 by 3 R 3 and for the second row, the elementary row operation is R 2 prime equal to R 2 plus 1 third R 3 and finally, the augmented matrix is transferred to 1 0 0 minus 1, second row is 0 1 0 3 and third row is 0 0 1 2. Thus, finally, the given system of equations reduces to x 1 equal to minus 1, x 2 equal to 3 and x 3 equal to 2. Thus, the solution of the given system of equation is x 1 equal to minus 1, x 2 equal to 3 and x 3 equal to 2. So, note that the method is very simple compared to the other methods, particularly for Gauss elimination method and so on. So, we have discussed Gauss elimination method and Gauss-Jordan elimination method to solve a system of linear equations. Now, we consider a system of tri-diagonal equations. This equation is a special case of system of linear equations. In tri-diagonal system of equations, the coefficient matrix is a tri-diagonal matrix. In tri-diagonal matrix, there are only three non-zero diagonals, the main diagonal, upper diagonal and the lower diagonal. Now, we derive an efficient method, very efficient method to solve a tridiagonal system of equations and it takes order of n times where n is the number of equations. Now, we consider tridiagonal system of equations. The following is the system of tridiagonal equations. Note that the first equation contains only two variables x 1 and x 2. Second equation contains three variables x 1, x 2 and x 3. The third equation also contains three variables x 2, x 3 and x 4, but note that the first variable x 1 is absent in third equation and the fourth variable x 4 is included in the equation and so on. Lastly, the nth equation contains the last two variables x n minus 1 and x n and the coefficient matrix for this system is this one. Note that the matrix A has special property that means, the first row contains two elements, second row contains three elements, the elements are in the first column, second column and third column. Third row contains three elements, but the element contains in second, third and fourth column and so on. In last row contains only two elements A and B n and last but one rows contain three elements a n minus 1, b n minus 1 and c n minus 1. That means, this is a tridiagonal matrix and note that the main diagonal that means, b 1, b 2, b 3 up to b n is the main diagonal and upper diagonal elements are c 1, c 2, c 3 up to c n minus 1 and the lower diagonal elements are a 2, a 3, a n minus 1, a n. So, only three non-zero diagonals are there and all other elements of this matrix are 0 and the right hand vector d equal to d 1, d 2 up to d n. 
Now we apply LU decomposition method to solve the tridiagonal system of equations. So, for this purpose we consider A equal to L into U where L and U are the lower and upper triangular matrices. So, for this problem we consider L equal to uh, this type of matrix whose first diagonal that means the main diagonal is gamma 1, gamma 2 up to gamma n and lower diagonal contains the elements beta 2, beta 3 up to beta n and all other elements of this matrix are 0. Similarly, the upper triangular matrix is taken as, as this form. Note that the diagonal elements of U are 1 and the upper diagonal elements are alpha 1, alpha 2 up to alpha n minus 1 and all other elements of this matrix are 0. Then the product of L and U is also a tridiagonal matrix. Note that the three diagonals are non-zero and all other elements of the product LU are zero. Now comparing both sides of the matrix LU equal to A and obtain the following system of equations gamma 1 equal to B1 and gamma i alpha i equal to C i that means alpha i equal to C i by gamma i where i equal to 1 to n minus 1 beta i equal to a i where i equal to 2 to n and lastly the gamma i equal to b i minus alpha i minus 1 into beta i equal to b i minus a i into C i minus 1 divided by gamma i minus 1 where i equal to 2, 3 up to n. Note that to calculate the value of gamma i, we need the value of gamma i minus 1. So, the values of gamma are calculated starting from gamma 1, then gamma 2 and up to gamma n. Now, the elements of the matrices L and U are given by the following equations. Gamma 1 equal to B1, gamma i equal to B i minus A i C i minus 1 divided by gamma i minus 1 where i equal to 2 to n, beta i equal to a i, where i equal to 2 to n, alpha i equal to c i by gamma i, where i equal to 1 to n minus 1. So, from equation 8 and 9, we can calculate all the values of alpha, beta and gamma and hence we obtain the matrices A L and U. Note that this system of equation is very simple and it is easy to program and the time complexity to evaluate all alpha, beta and gamma, we need order of n times where n is the number of equations or number of variables. Now, the solution of the given system of equation A x equal to d is obtained by solving the two system of linear equations L z equal to d by further substitution and then by solving the equation u x equal to z by back substitution. The solution of the equation L z equal to d is given by z 1 equal to d 1 by b 1 and z i equal to d i minus a i z i minus 1 by gamma i where i equal to 2 to n. Note that this expression gives the intermediate solution vector of the system L z equal to d and using this vector the vector z, we can solve the system of equation u x equal to z, where x n equal to z n and x i equal to z i minus alpha i into x i plus 1, which is equal to z i minus c i by gamma i into x i plus 1. But in this case, i is n minus 1, n minus 2 or n minus 3 or up to 1. So, using equation 10 and 11, we can solve the solution vector z and x. And finally, the equation 11 gives the solution of the given system of linear equations. Now, let us consider one example to illustrate the method to solve a tridiagonal system of equations. In this case, three equations are considered containing three variables. So, for this problem b 1 equal to 1, c 1 equal to 2, a 2 equal to minus 1, 
b2 equal to 2, c2 equal to 3, a3 equal to 3, b3 equal to 1 and the right, right hand vector d1 equal to 4, d2 equal to 6 and d3 equal to 8. Thus, gamma 1 equal to b1 equal to 1 as by definition of gamma 1, gamma 2 equal to b2 minus a2 into c1 by gamma 1 equal to 2 minus minus 1 into 2 equal to 4 and gamma 3 equal to b3 minus a3 into c2 by gamma 2 after simplification this becomes minus 5 by 4. Since gamma is available therefore, we can calculate the values of z1, z2 and z3. The z1 equal to d1 by b1 equal to 4, z2 equal to d2 minus a2 into z1 whole divided by gamma 2 after simplification is e this is equal to 5 by 2 and z3 equal to minus 2 by 5. Since the z and gamma are available, so we can calculate the value of the variable x3, x2 and x1 by back substitution x3 equal to z3 equal to minus 2 by 5, x2 equal to z2 minus c2 into x3 by gamma 2 which is equal to 14 by 5 and x1 equal to z1 minus c1 by gamma 1 into x2 equal to minus 8 by 5. Thus, the solution of the given system of equation is x1 equal to minus 8 by 5, x2 equal to 14 by 5 and x3 equal to minus 2 by 5. So, from this method we motivated to develop another method to find the value of the tridiagonal determinant. So, let us consider here a tridiagonal matrix T which is defined as in the previous slide. Note that the first and last rows contain two non-zero elements in general and the number of non-zero elements to all other rows is 3 these elements may also be 0 for any particular case. In general for any matrix n square non-zero elements are there, but for tridiagonal matrix only 3 into n minus 2 because 3 elements are present in n minus 2 equation plus 4, 4 means the number of elements in first and last equation which is equal to 3 n minus 2. This number of non-zero elements are present in a tridiagonal system of equation or tridiagonal matrix or a tridiagonal determinant. So, this matrix can be stored using only three vectors C equal to C1, C2, Cn minus 1, the another vector A equal to A2, A3, An and the last vector B equal to B1, B2, Bn. Let us define a vector D equal to D1, D2 up to Dn. Which is, which is defined as di equal to b1 if i equal to 1 that means d1 equal to b1 and di equal to bi minus a i into c i minus 1 divided by di minus 1 if i equal to 2, 3 up to n. So, after calculation of the vector d we can determine the value of the determinant according to this formula that means the value of the determinant tridiagonal determinant is the product p equal to product of the elements di. But if d equal to 0 for any particular i then we say di equal to x basically x is a symbolic name and actually its value is 0 using this value we calculate the other days that is d i plus 1 d i plus 2 up to d n. In this case d's contain x and finally, the product p equal to product of i equal to 1 to n d i depends on x the symbolic name x and finally, the value of the determinant is obtained by substituting x equal to 0 in the expression of p. So, this is the modified method to find the value of determinant for tridiagonal case. Now, we explain tridiagonal determinant the evolution of tridiagonal determinant by consider two matrices A and B. Note that the matrices A and B are tridiagonal. So, for the determinant date A d 1 equal to 1, d 2 equal to 
b2 minus a2 by d1 into c1 which is equal to 0. Since it is 0, so we consider d2 equal to x and using this value we calculate d3 which is equal to b3 minus a3 by d2 into c2 which is equal to 3x minus 3 by x. Thus the product p equal to d1, d2, d3 equal to 1 into x into 3x minus 3 by x and which is equal to 3x minus 3. Now we put x equal to 0, therefore date a that means the determinant value of a is equal to minus 3. Now you consider the second determinant date b, in this case d1 equal to 1, d2 equal to b2 minus a2 by d1 into c1 which is equal to 4 and d3 equal to b3 minus a3 into c2 by d2 which is equal to 3 by 2. Therefore, the product p equal to d1, d2, d3 which is equal to 1 into 4 into 3 by 2 which is equal to 6. Thus, the determinant value of the matrix B that means date B equal to 6. In this model, we have discussed Gauss elimination method and Gauss Jordan elimination method to solve a system of linear equations. These two method take order of n cube time where n is the number of equations or number of variables presents in the system of equations. Also we have derived a very efficient method to solve a tridiagonal system of equations. This method takes order of n time where n is the number of equations or variables. So we have seen that the tridiagonal system of equation takes less amount time compared to the other methods. Also we have discussed to find the value of a tridiagonal determinant and the proposed method takes order of n time where n is the size of the determinant.